Welcome back on a Monday. For those of you who know, I have, have a grandbaby named Ava. And when she was first born, I started her dollhouse. Now she's almost 18 months old and I kind of got the dollhouse started, but I never finished it. So that's what I've been doing this week is finishing a dollhouse. And I'll be posting a, a little tour of the dollhouse on Facebook later on today. So anyway, you can look at that and see what I've been doing and give us some hints about what you've been doing. Share, uh, you know, on Facebook as far as if you've done anything interesting or you have some ideas that will keep us all busy while we are all staying home. All right, we're going to get right into our uh, artwork today. So I'm going to transition this over where you can see my hands drawing and we'll get started. They were going to do two videos. The first one is kind of like going down into a hole. All right, and so the way you're gonna start that is with putting a pencil dot in the middle of your paper and then just doing some really curvy lines out, kind of like a pinwheel. All then with your pen, you can use a Sharpie or your Micron, you're gonna start in the middle and you're gonna go out and you're gonna go back each time and go out and it gets bigger. You gotta go follow. The lines that you've made. All right, and we're gonna start down here again. You can go clear out to the edge of your paper if you want to. And just keep going. And I'm not going to do all of them. I just want to do three so we can do the middle so you can see the difference. Okay, after you get all of this all the way around, then there's one more step. And that's that you take and go back in between them. And you're going to go over that center line, kind of going out to your edge so that you have a deep, dark area. down between them so that it looks like it's really going down into that area. And you can see the difference that that makes versus this. And so when you get that all done, you will kind of have a pinwheel that looks like it's going down into a hole. All right, you can watch that over and, t and stop it if you want to and, and finish that. We're gonna do one more for today. And this one is going to be two nuts that are kind of put together, kind of an optical illusion. They look like two nuts, but they're really, are kind of stuck together and are really only one. So we're gonna switch back over to our pencil and we're gonna start by using a glass or a cup and drawing a circle really lightly around like this. Okay. Excuse me, I gotta find my picture. All right. So then you're gonna put a dot in the middle of your hole and you're going to make some lines that are going to divide that. You're gonna pretend like that is a pie and you're gonna divide it as equally as you possibly can into six parts. So you can divide it in half first and then you can divide this part into two, so like three. So you have two dots and try to get it as equally as you can and then make your line 
down like this. So now we have a circle that has six pies. Once you get that, then you can actually switch over to your ink pen and you can draw a line from that dot to that. You can use a ruler if you want to, but it doesn't really have to be that accurate. Now we're gonna come in just a bit and we're gonna connect with those same lines that we made like that. And so we have the start of our nut. Then you're gonna take an eraser and just erase all your pencil lines. All right, now we're going to take and we're going to make about an inch line out and these are all going to be parallel. So we're going to go like this. We're going to come down, make another one. The same parallel. So you could take your ruler and go like this and then over if that's easier, take your ruler, move it so that it stays parallel. Take your ruler so it stays parallel down this way. These lines all have to be parallel. All right now the same for inside here. You're going to stay with the same parallel line. So kind of get your ruler so it's the same direction. Same and go up and make about an inch line in here. About an inch line here. And then you're going to connect those two Now these lines are gonna be parallel to that one. That line's parallel to that one. All right, and you have your first nut. All right, so then we're gonna go back to our cup and you're gonna put the edge of the cup right here where it's gonna connect. So right on the edge of this. And we're gonna draw a circle again around our cup. So our circle's gonna connect here and here, all right? Now, we're gonna do the same thing we did before in that we want to be able to make this as equal as we can. So you can draw a line across this direction. And then from each of these points, kind of come across like this. So that you have a pie that has six spaces. Then you can do just like what we did before. You can go from here and draw your lines to make the second nut. And we're going to erase our lines. And we're gonna go back now to our ruler and we're gonna take and find out this parallel line and we're gonna go down, make another one that connects. I'm gonna take this, make a line to where it connects to that one. And then on the inside, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna make these lines all be the same parallel. So we're going to same direction. So we've got this line. We're going to come in, make that one. All right, now we have our drawing. So our next step is to add shading. We're going to add the darks and the mediums and we're gonna leave the light. So we've got three different distinct values, light, medium, dark. So you can take and start taking your pencil and your pencil will make really a dark, dark. Then you have a medium,
kind of dark. Now on the top, you can have a different value. You can be kind of a, like a light, but kind of a real light light, because maybe the light might be hitting it at that point. You can kind of have a medium. Sometimes it's good to have an extra pencil around. That one gets too dull. You can also use the side of your pencil. Another really dark one. And if it goes over the line like that, just erase some. It's pencil. And then we're going to put some just dark under here just to ground it so that it doesn't look like it's flying in the air. And you have your two nuts. Have a good rest of your Monday. Don't forget to wash your hands. Bye-bye for now.